Shaman Jeff here at the Village Mystic, always squeezably soft, wishing you a wonderful week. This week on Friday we have our art walk. That should be a fun event. There may be a little bit of rain, but it's always a fun event and a party happening here at the Village Mystic. Our class on Saturday is going to be on OBE, Out of Body Experience. Um, similar to astral projection. It's interesting that the scientists are finding out and they're starting to concur that there may be an actual place that people are going to. They're having too many similarities in after talk that they're beginning to think that there may be an actual place or many places that people are going to. Actual destinations rather than just random thought which kind of would rule out the imagination when we have these kind of experiences. And the class, of course, is free because we like to give to you. You know, you're the reason that we're here. You're never in the way. How could you ever be? You're the reason we're here. I pulled a card for you this week, and the card I pulled is the seahorse. Seahorse spirit is one of interesting um, opportunities. I one time caught a seahorse and it was just outside of the frolic of some um, rocks and stuff and I caught it in my hands and in its own little environment it was just swimming peacefully. And it reminded me, and the seahorse brings to us the energy of staying detached sometimes, being in that place of observance in life. When we step back from a situation, uh, as our energy may become compromised, then it opens our view to expansive opportunities. And it, it just kind of sits back in this floating position and observes and it just sits in that place of inner peace and so when there's turmoil around us when there's things going on when things seem hectic hectic if we just step back and look from a place of observant we can bring our peace back to us i also picked a crystal this week and the crystal that i picked is ruby and zoisite one of my favorite stones. The red is ruby, and the ruby will actually fluoresce under a UV light. It fluoresces a hot pink. And the red ruby is all about self-love. And when you talk about the zoisite, the surrounding green, whenever we think of green energies, we're also thinking about healing energies. And what more could you ask for out of a stone then self-love I deserve and then bringing in those healing energies to make it happen. The zoisite is also what tanzanite is a zoisite. It's actually green until they cook it. And so this is Shaman Jeff wishing you a great week. Create a beautiful week for yourself. It's up to you. Like us, subscribe, to share is to care. And I had a question come in, and the question was about vortexes. And vortexes are a real thing, and that was the question that was asked. If you look at the linear lines on the pyramids throughout the world, pretty much, they're almost on the same ley lines. So that just gives you something to think about, that even the ancients knew that there were these power places and that's where they constructed those things that meant a lot to them or brought in the energies to help them with what they were looking for. Have a great week. This is Shaman Jeff. I am out.